Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at, I've, well I've had this for a while, I haven't really got round to doing much for it, uh, simply just because I had a lot of handhelds come, I've been chock-a-block, incredibly busy and yeah I, I neglected it really. So obviously with me sending out a post a community post saying that I'm going to be getting the Huawei P40 Pro with the Kirin 990 processor. So I thought it would be interesting just before I do that to actually revisit the Huawei M6. It's a yeah cracking little tablet. I use it more often than not for PSP, uh, PSP minis and also GameCube and my ultimate fighting game which is Capcom vs Tatsumoto, I think, something like that. Anyway, that's my go-to uh, fighting game, absolutely love it. It's great that I can just sit back, put some nice headphones on, grab the 8-bit uh, Pro pad and just kick some ass. It is really nice. So yeah, so I just wanted to really do this just so we can then judge the comparison and jump in chipset really, because obviously the I'll do an unboxing neither later on today or tomorrow, hopefully. But I do have the Huawei P40 Pro. Uh, it is brand new and sealed. I'll do an unboxing and light emulation test and then we'll test it further on down the line. Um, also, guys, as I was wondering, like, you know, I know you guys are solely handhelds. We love the handhelds. But I've noticed in the last, I'd say, month, that we have a lot of people that like bar tops and tinkering around with them. I think one of the subscribers said a never ending joy, which is fantastic. Now I'm going to be getting probably one of the most top end. It's 11 terabyte uh, bar top, which is absolutely fantastic. And it's run off a GTX 2060, I think. So emulation on that is just going to be outstanding the amount of games and stuff that's going to be and it's the resident evil one i'll be getting i think the cost is like 2700 so it's quite a lot of money but i'm sure with it being windows enabled that i'll be able to upgrade it constantly as well as a fraction of the cost of what i paid for it originally and also keeping and maintaining that level of emulation as we move forward Really excited about a couple of handhelds, a bit of controversy over the last one really, which is the OGS. Granted, like, my Odroid Go Advance V2 just died on me all of a sudden, and he had it for like six months and it died and it hasn't worked since. Build quality is absolutely crap, but it paved the way forward to what other handhelds are today. I know a lot of people are a little bit devastated the fact that it's got the same chipset, but... I solely use this M6 because of its size. I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that agree with me. And I know there's a lot of uh, subscribers that also agree that we want to see more 5 inch to 7 inch handhelds with really good chipsets. It's more immersive. It makes the games a lot better, you know, and it's something that, yeah, we should definitely take into consideration. So I don't know if anybody's heard of the M6. It's called the M6 Turbo. Huawei uh, media pad. It rocks uh, 8.4 screen, 13 megapixel, 6 gigs of RAM, a 6,100 milliamp hour battery. So the chipset, I think the Android in fact is uh, Android 9 and it's EMU 9.1. It's rocking the Kirin 987 nanometer. It's got an octa core of 2 times 2.6 gigahertz Cortex A76 and also two times 1.92 uh, gigahertz Cortex A76 and a four times 1.8 gigahertz Cortex A55. The CPU is the Mali G76 MP10. It rocks 128 gigabytes internal storage. There is a uh, micro SD cards, but unfortunately it's the Huawei micro mini thing which costs an absolute fortune but if you want to upgrade you can i find that there's enough gig in there to actually get what you want i've only limited the amount of stuff on here that i'll be showing today i'm more going to focus on um psp but i will jump into a bit of gamecube bit of wii and also uh 
kick it out with some PSP minis. I really, really have loved this tablet. I really am gutted that I've left it alone and I've really neglected it, really. But I think the first video that I did, it, I don't think it even got something like 700 views. Like, it was just non-existent. So hopefully this time around, uh, you guys will be able to help pump it out there and share because... I think you can pick this up for about £250. It may seem like a lot of money, but for emulation-wise, it's fantastic. And it's even got Medibang on there, and, you know, you can even do a bit of drawing on it. It's absolutely fantastic. If I have time in the video, I may showcase that. So I'll be rocking the 8-Bit Do Xbox version uh, to use as a controller. And just a quick one on that, guys, is normally I use my Beats headphones if I'm playing it with myself, these lovely rocking Beats. I was just wondering, or uh, if, I, if they're too much, then I'll use my AirPods. But I just wanted to know what you use to improve the sound quality when you're playing the games. Do you use the speakers that the devices come with, or do you rock out some nice headphones? Like, I've had these a while now, and I absolutely love them. They're, I think they're the Beats Studio 3. Uh, I don't know if anybody's heard them, but I've got a nice blue version. Hooks up with Wi-Fi. It's probably just hooked up to this, because the last one I hooked it up was this. But, yeah, I'd love to know what you actually use as a, yeah, as a sound improvement. Do you just rock normal cheap headphones? You know, do you have a special pair that you use? Do you actually use headphones even to do the gaming? I like to be so immersive into the game sometimes that like I, I just like to float away with my headphones on, nice big screen, and just get into the games and yeah, forget about the world and its wonderful woes. So we're gonna jump right in. So I started off with a little bit of uh, Wind Waker. And then, as obviously, we'll just move through, uh, and then just so you guys get a picture of how well it runs. And yeah, it'd be interesting to do a comparison video. But if you want to see more on this, guys, then please just let me know in the comments. I will definitely do that for you guys. I've also shot this video in 4K, so I hope that it actually represents and shows just how good PSP and obviously emulation is on this device because it's incredibly sharp, guys, and it runs really well. Let me know if you want me to do 4K videos as well moving forward. They take a lot more time and effort to do, but um, I, I will gladly do that because I know some of you guys will be able to check that out on your phone so more clarity the better Also, there was a few people that said that they were interested to see the Kieran chip, especially from our beautiful friends over the pond in the US, because obviously Trump's saying that Huawei spy, that they don't get a chance or opportunity to actually test out these products. So, yeah. The Kieran... 980 which is in this is powerful man it's really powerful it's very smooth as you can see And this has to be one of the best Zelda games. What I'm really hoping for is the 35th anniversary next year. That we actually get Ocarina of Time. 
and this and maybe another classic uh, on a pack for the Nintendo Switch. I would absolutely love that with all my heart. Yeah, so as you can see, it's running hunky goddamn dory. So we're just going to jump out of there. Let's test a bit of Metro Prime. I'll just quickly run through these guys. Yeah, but if you can pick one of these up cheap, uh, yeah, and you want a nice sized tablet, not too heavy, 8.4 inch screen, in my eyes, it's absolutely perfect. Get yourself the extended iPega maybe as well. Um, or just a nice, a nice stand. Chill in bed and play some retro games, man. I don't know what that big black patch is in the corner, guys. That wasn't there on my last playthrough. It's bloody typical when they start recording. Shit happens. Lovely. I assure you, it did work without it. This is Vulcan back end, by the way, guys. I did change it um, when I was testing out a few few of the games before so it might be because it's running on Vulcan maybe who knows yeah but it's really 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 smooth guys and it's 1080p so you could probably lower it to 720 and get even better performance from it Actually, going 
kind of skip in the video and just go to so I'm gonna go out of here I'll probably skip this bit guys but I definitely want to prove that it works <laughs> Okay, and we're back. So this is OpenGL this time, guys. Sometimes it literally is trial and error on what works well for which. Like the map wouldn't work on Vulcan. Uh, it was just, you know, a blank screen. So it's, yeah, it's definitely trial and error. And as I say, we have a big... So as you can see, we have the glowing light and no black box. So yeah, it literally is emulation, trial and error, see what works, but yeah, Vulcan backend in this case is not very good. But OpenGL, as you can see, works flawlessly. The transition, really nice. Looks nice, plays amazingly well, 1080p, beautiful. See, it is buttery smooth, absolutely buttery smooth, impressive. Really excited to see what the Kirin 990 chip does in the Huawei P40 Pro. Woohoo! And I'll say, if there's anything else you wish to see running on this, guys, then please do not hesitate to let me know because you are awesome. I think I'll take this time as well just to break everything down. It's been a crazy year. I mean, I'm in lockdown here currently, uh, which is pretty sad. I'm only one person, family member in a household at one time. So it's a bit sad because it, this will be the first Christmas that I'm going to be spending alone. So I will do some videos on Christmas if you feel that you've had a nice Christmas dinner. And yeah, you want to relax to some videos. I will keep doing them right the way through the year, guys um you guys are awesome i just want to give a massive shout out to some amazing people that have been a massive true inspiration to me throughout my time here on youtube firstly you guys absolutely awesome my subscribers the guys that interact with me some of you guys crack me up absolutely crack me up like some of the things that you say I, i'm literally sitting there laughing my tits off and crying because you guys are just funny as hell there's some guys out there that are just absolutely incredible in the way of being very informative and that have helped me out on this channel uh, to no end whether it be through tips on emulation tips on performance getting the best out of it and um, just general information actually going out their way to go and find information for me to bring it back to me to let me know you know it takes time and effort to do that so thank you guys i love every single one of you guys and you know I, I, i'm speechless i am absolutely speechless i just want to give a few shout outs to youtubers that give me that inspiration to yeah 
start a channel and be where I am today. So Emulation Dodo, Merry Christmas, all the best. Loved your video the other day where your subs just chipped in together to give you that amazing uh, Game Boy Color and all those retro style themed Dodo gifts were just absolutely incredible. You've been a massive inspiration to me. I still can't believe that you watch my channel uh, and you have for a while. Uh, it just makes me smile. You just, I'm so glad that you do what you do because you were one of the biggest influencers of me to start my own channel. So just want to say thank you so much, Retro Dodo and team. Another one is ETA Prime. <laughs> he probably won't acknowledge me. I don't even know if he watches the channel. Probably doesn't. But yeah, another person that has just been a ma massive joy and inspiration. And not only to me, but to millions. Techie, you know, you love him or hate him. I love the guy. Um, I wish he'd be a little bit more in depth in his videos. Um, but apart from that, he does get stuff done. He knows his stuff. He's very intelligent. Um, he's got good links with people as well, which is really, really cool. And gets all the stuff before anybody else. What a git. Uh, but yeah, Merry Christmas, all the best techie, and yeah, I hope 2021 is very prosperous for you. Um, another one is uh, Wicked Gaming Collector, what a guy, definitely the funniest YouTuber, uh, emulation-wise, with his crazy noises and just random, randomised crazy stuff he comes out with. But he does what we don't want to do, which is buys absolute trash. Uh, and also good stuff as well, but mainly he 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 also shows us what to avoid, and you know you've got to give him massive kudos for that. He is an absolute legend, and also Merry Christmas, my fine friend. I know he does watch my channel, so if you're listening to this, you are a wonderful man, wonderful man. A couple of new uh, subscribers that have also took the plunge into emulation. Uh, that have been following the channel, uh, which is Emulation Dojo. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. Absolutely incredible guy. He's got such a placid voice. Uh, I could listen to him all day. Great guy, great channel, very informative. Um, yeah, it's just got a great sense of community with everybody. Ken Masters, uh, I want to give a shout out as well. Merry Christmas, buddy. Uh, all the best. He's the one who did the uh, firmware build and OS build for me for Sonic Love and sending it to me and all that hard work and dedication. He did. It took about four months or something to, to do. So, pff, wow, that's four months that I could never give him back. Um, but all I can say is that my appreciation is uh, not unjustified of just how much of an amazing person that guy is. Uh, and he's also told me that he's going to be starting up a channel soon as well that's going to help out with a lot of things uh, that I shy away from, but he won't, uh, which will help the uh, community in tackling issues that many people ask me to tackle, which I kind of don't because I don't go down that route. Uh, another couple of shout outs as well has to go to Bo uh, Born Again Nerd. She is off her rocker she's great uh, she really doesn't care about what she thinks about anything really you know if she doesn't like something oh boy she'll tell you uh, regardless whether you love it or not she's fantastic if you haven't if you haven't watched her channel please go and help her out she definitely deserves more subs than what she's getting at the moment uh yeah and to everybody else just happy holidays merry christmas uh, I hope you all have a wonderful time. I hope it's not too much of a heartache with current situations with lockdown. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to get that out, really, and just say thank you very much for an exciting half a year. And I really hope that I'm doing well um, <laughs> in delivering what you guys like. If there's any way that you want to see improvements, don't hesitate to tell me that what I'm doing is crap and you want to see more of something good. I'm not bothered. I've got a thick skin. I certainly want uh, you guys to prosper. Giveaways, uh, you know, this next giveaway is going to be the biggest giveaway I've ever done. As the channel grows and we grow even more, I promise you that I'm going to pump everything back into you guys because it's. Ju I just, I do this because of you, you know, it's, 
it's it's really strange like when i wake up the first thing i do is just check the comments and i try and get back to everybody as possible i hope everybody believes me on that um i try not to miss anyone even though i do quite a lot of videos and i rack up at least a thousand yeah maybe a thousand comments a week um that's a lot to reply and then there's replies on top of those replies that I send and then you send back so yeah I, I would it'd be scary to count um, but I enjoy it and it what gives me motivation to carry on anyway enough rambling otherwise I'm gonna start crying anyway thank you very much everybody thank you to as I say thank you for all the support you guys are magnificent okay Let's have some more games do the talking and me less talking. I'm sure that'll be something that you guys would mention in the comments. Okay, so this is one of my favourite fighting games ever of all time. I absolutely love it. Ah, oh, ball sack. I always forget to do this. You've got to go into GameCube. Turn GameCube off, save, then go in. I actually updated the Dolphin emulator on this, so my cache isn't really as big as what my previous uh, saves and stuff were. So there may be a few crackles and hiccups, but over time, it settles and it plays perfectly, guys. I can assure you. Man, this is going to be a long video. So as you can see guys, plays amazingly well, a few little stutters but on the most part it plays incredibly well, really is a great game, if you've not played it, definitely check it out. Okay, so let's move on to PSP. So let's go to settings. So Vulcan backend. Let's change that actually. I prefer OpenGL. Okay, so everything is off. We're on um, rendering resolution three times. And we're also going to be on three times. Are you nervous? I'm so excited! Come on! Hurry up and start the race! Three, two, one, go! The 
looks like you got a good start. Can you keep your lead? Three laps to go. This shouldn't be a problem. Good luck. Hopefully it's coming across guys, just how beautiful it actually is and runs, what? yeah, amazing. Let's move on to something else. Let's do some PSP minis.
As you can see, it's running awesome. In return, he hoped only to rid himself of the nightmares that haunted him for far too long.
Okay, as you can see guys, it's running amazing and looks amazing. Okay.
Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there because the video has gone on for far too long. I will do a part two guys, I promise, and I'll go through a lot more PSP games. And if there's any games that you want to throw on top of that, then let me know in the comments and I will gladly put them on for you. Whether it be more uh, Wii games, GameCube games, N64. Obviously you do have to sideload APKs with it being Huawei. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same case with the P40 Pro as well. As I say, guys, thank you for all the much for the support. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and all that to absolutely everybody. As I say, I'll be on me Billy No Mates, uh, but I will still be doing content. Please like, share, subscribe if you want to see more. I have lots on the way. I have lots to do over the Christmas period. Chock air blocker. So, as always, take care.